What's up guys? Welcome to Andy's VR Reviews. Today I got something exciting for you and that's how you could play PC VR even if you don't have a gaming computer. You know what though? I already made that video. This video is how you could play PC VR if you don't have a computer at all. All you need is your cell phone and your Quest 2 and you're good to go. Now your phone does have to be an Android. I personally have an iPhone so for this video I went to Walmart and I bought like a $50 Samsung Galaxy worked great on that uh so please stay tuned enjoy the show and uh at the end of this i'll be doing a giveaway so uh without further ado let's begin step one go to the google play store and download side quest step two once side quest is downloaded on your phone you will need to connect it to your quest if your phone's charging port is a usb-c you could actually connect it directly using your Oculus charger. If your charging port is not a USB-C, you could connect it over Wi-Fi. Make sure you allow your Quest to be connected to your phone inside the headset. You just have to click Allow. Step 3. Once your phone is connected to SideQuest, you need to download Plutosphere. Search Plutosphere on the SideQuest app and then click Download App. Step 4. Once Plutosphere is downloaded, go on your Quest. Go to Apps and Filter by Unknown Sources. Then click the option named Plutosphere Client. In most cases, it will be the only option under Unknown Sources. Step 5. Once clicked, you will be brought to your Plutosphere dashboard. You'll need to create an account. Remember your login. This will be important for later on. Since I already connected my quest before, I'm already logged in, but uh, you'll have to enter like a username, password, email, stuff like that. Step 6. Once your Plutosphere account is created, Go on your phone and go to dashboard.pluto.app. You will need to log in and turn on your virtual computer. Turn your virtual computer on by clicking the start button in your dashboard. The first time you turn it on, it could take up to 15 minutes to boot up and connect, so please be patient. Also, in most cases, Plutosphere gives out coins every day for you to use their service for free. However, if they're really busy or they're trying to fix the issue, sometimes they don't do that and you have to pay for the coins. Um, usually, I think it's about a dollar an hour or, or something around there, so it's not too expensive. Um, I am going to be giving away some Plutosphere coins at the end of this video, so if you want to enter the giveaway, stay tuned. Um, but like I said, in most cases, they should just have free coins for you every day. Step 7. Once your Plutosphere computer is booted up and connected, click the computer icon to launch your virtual computer. Step 8. Now that you have your virtual computer on your phone, you can log into Steam and download the PC VR game you want to play. Step 9. Once your game has downloaded, go back to your headset and launch Plutosphere. After a few seconds, you should see the Steam home screen. Click the button on your left controller that has three lines, and then click the desktop button on the bottom left of the screen. Once clicked, you should see your Plutosphere desktop. Step 10. Through your Oculus on your Plutosphere desktop, click the green play button on whatever game you want to play. Then click the three lines on top of the Steam VR window and enable VR view. That's all, you did it. You are now playing PC VR games using only your phone and your Oculus Quest. I'm about to show some gameplay, but first I want to tell you about the giveaway. The first person to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification and comment the words Plutosphere plus their Plutosphere username below will win 3,000 Plutosphere tokens, which is equal to 5 hours of gameplay. 
Now, usually Pluto Sphere gives out a few hours of gameplay per day, but at times when they're really busy or they're having an issue, they charge for them. Also, my channel is still new and very few people watch this far along in the video, so if you're seeing this now, there is a good chance that no one has claimed them yet. Okay, enjoy. How's it looking up there? It's good, Dad. Metricot movement is normal. Same for the combine patrols. How's it going in the stockyard? <laughs> One combine mini reactor from a shipment of 4,000. They're never going to miss it. Here, see for yourself. Dad, someone hacked into the combine construction network. Don't get greedy, guys. We're not made of time here. One minute and I'm out. Guaranteed. Oh, also, I spotted the combine moving supplies into the quarantine zone. That place has been deserted for years. Hmm. That is all. Well, well, we'll look into it when we get back. Meet back at the safe house, baby. We'll be there soon. It looks like. What is it, Russell? Would you? Terrific.
reboot? Yep, they got the reactor. Easy peasy. I'm headed back to the safe house right now to meet Dad. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait, no, 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 no! 